Murthy, the co-chair of IGBC. I would also like to recognize the Consul General of the UAE here. Um, Sri K.S. Venkatagirigaru, Executive Director of the CII Godrej Green Building Council. I would also like to recognize Sri Rajesh Kumarji from SBI. Thank you, sir, uh, for joining us. Delighted uh, that all of you could also join us. You know, it's a not so rainy day, but it's a rainy day in Hyderabad. So glad that you could all make it. Glad that you're all here safe. It is indeed a pleasure to be a part of this wonderful event. And I'm glad that the Telangana government also has partnered with uh, IGBC to host this green property show. As you all know, as we all experience climate change, as we all experience uh, you know, the forces of nature, we are reminded daily that to be in consonance with nature, irrespective of what you're building, is something that we all should follow as a mantra. I appreciate the CII, IGBC for organizing this one of its kind event, a property show exhibiting green homes, buildings, and most importantly, products and also technologies. I believe this show would provide the visitors more information on sustainability. Indian Green Building Council, the IGBC, part of Confederation of Indian Industry, has been spearheading the green building movement in the country since 2001. And I'm delighted that they are headquartered in our own city, Hyderabad. IGBC has facilitated India in becoming one of the top three countries in the world in terms of the largest number of registered green building footprint. Now, CII IGBC has achieved 10.27 billion square foot of green building footprint. I think they deserve a big round of applause for this. And we in the government of Telangana have been extending all support and all help to make sure that we remain at the forefront as a state in India in the green building initiatives and supporting IGBC and CII in their green pursuits and endeavors. The state of Telangana under the leadership of our Chief Minister, Sri KCR Garu, has done many a things to improve the green footprint in our, in our, in our uh, uh, state. India's first green building, green home, green airport, green railway station and green factory building, all of these exist in the state of Telangana. The government of Telangana is walking the path of green by implementing sustainability measures in all of our government buildings as well, including this newly built state-of-the-art secretariat building, the T-Hub, which Rajesh Ji just mentioned, T-Works, the integrated command control center, which is state-of-the-art again, new collectorate buildings across the 33 districts of Telangana, the new buildings, especially the healthcare facilities, the hospitals and healthcare campuses that are being built all over the state, a one medical college and one teaching hospital in each and every district, all of them will be green certified, the new industrial parks and more laudably even the new IT parks being built in the districts. All of these are green certified. Not only buildings and campuses are cities. Hyderabad, Warangal, Khamam and Karimnagar are already adopting the IGBC green cities rating. I am sure many other cities will also follow suit and these cities will set a world class benchmark for all the other cities adopting sustainable principles. Our flagship program, a brainchild of our Honorable Chief Minister, Sri K.C. Argaru, is called Telangana Ku Harita Haram, which basically, if I have to translate it into English, it would mean green necklace for Mother Earth. Now, this laudable initiative has increased the green cover in the state of Telangana from 24% to 33% of the geographical area. Today, we have achieved a significant growth of tree cover by 48.66 square kilometers, increasing the overall green cover of the state to almost 82 square kilometers by 2021. I am also delighted to let you know, not only the rural areas of Telangana, but also the city of Hyderabad has bagged the prestigious AIPH Green City Award in the world, surpassing Mexico City, Paris and Bogota. I would also like to extend my sincere regards to CII IGBC for their continuous support 
in facilitating Telangana Koharitaharam with large scale plantation drives as well. In fact, possibly Telangana is the only state in the country which has actually enacted legislations both for municipalities and also for villages. We have in fact mandated that 10% of the budget in a village and also in a, ten, in a town be spent towards green initiatives. In fact, another very interesting and laudable initiative of the government of Telangana, which has led to the increase in green cover, is ensuring 85% survival of all the saplings that have been planted. We have planted more than 260 crore, 2.6 billion saplings over the last eight years. And this is the largest effort, third largest effort in human history, largest effort in India for short, and that has led to 7.7% increase, and which is again the largest for any state in India, and this is what makes us immensely proud. Not only the cities, like I said, even villages, have now been able to build robust green infrastructure, and we've also ensured that every single village, not just the municipalities and towns like Hyderabad, cities like Hyderabad, but even the villages have completely replaced their street lights with energy efficient LED lights. Now this has also reduced, resulted in significant reduction of carbon footprint. Ganga Devi Palli is a village in Warangal, which has also adopted the IGBC Green Village Rating System and has achieved the highest rating possible the platinum rating and this is a remarkable achievement for a village in India now and I believe that at least 1000 villages from Telangana will also follow in the footsteps of Ganga Devi Palli in ensuring that we also create green villages. I also request the CII and IGBC to support us in facilitating the adoption of green and net zero concepts in all the villages across the state of Telangana. I am also happy to inform you that Telangana government is walking the talk and has decided to accommodate sustainable development goals SDGs into its vision for Bangaru Telangana and take steps to operationalize the SDGs in our state. Operationalizing of Metro Rail, Hyderabad Metro Rail, expansion of Metro Rail, completion of the outer ring road, replacement of all the traditional lights with LED street lights, steady progress of all the ongoing drinking water projects, also ensuring that 100% of the sewerage in Hyderabad being treated with 31 new sewerage treatment plants being set up, setting up of, of open gym equipment and infrastructure, especially roads, importantly link roads are some of the achievements over the last few years. We are seeking bold ideas, we are seeking innovative approaches with international best practices that would facilitate sustainable growth and development patterns across the state. With rapid urbanization, all the upcoming building projects should be green by design. Even the existing buildings should go the green way by retrofitting. We have brought in the cool roofing policy as well to ensure that our cities become cooler, our citizens also ensure that citizens also participate and ensure that you know we are saved by whatever little extent our future generations are also saved by whatever little extent through these sustainable practices. For all of us, for the future of our children, green should become the way of life. I don't think there are second opinions or second thoughts about that anywhere in the world. No matter which country you travel to, no matter any way you go on the planet, I think the consciousness that has crept in into all sections of the society, that climate change is not something that we can postpone or defer, procrastination is not going to help and green shall become the way of life is a mantra that we all should follow and we all should pass this green legacy to our children so that our planet becomes better when we start passing it on to our children. We should become more sensitive and more responsible towards our planet Earth. I think this has to be inculcated from a very early age. This cannot be an ad hoc knee-jerk reaction. This has to be inculcated from a very early age. In fact, toward this effect, we are launching Swatch Buddies in all the towns in Telangana, in all 141 municipalities and corporations in Telangana to promote sustainability, to promote better waste management, to promote energy efficient practices, to ensure that segregation happens at source, to ensure 
that our children understand that green is the way of life, we are launching what is called as Swachh Buddies. If I have to translate it in English, it would mean essentially a school which is focused on wash, basically water, sanitation and hygiene and best practices moving forward. Of course, as a city in Hyderabad, we are very proud. We are already home to South India's largest waste to energy plant in Jawahar Nagar with about 20 megawatts of capacity. We have already produced 350 megawatts of energy from the waste that we generate from the city of Hyderabad. Not only do we produce waste, uh, energy from the waste, we also produce compost, manure from the wet waste. And so far, I am told that the corporation has been able to earn more than 200 crores per annum by way of selling this manure every year. Now, what I would love to see happen is segregation, composting happening at a unit level in a decentralized fashion and going forward, each municipality engaging in these practices so that we actually become a role model for the rest of the country. I appreciate CII, IGBC again for hosting this first green property show in the state of Telangana and I'm sure that this event will go a long way in creating awareness among the masses on sustainable living. I urge all of you who have come here, especially the builders, to please look at the technologies, please look at the products. We have set up two construction and demolition plants in the city of Hyderabad. You can use this material. You know the four-hour mantra, reduce, reuse, recycle, recharge. That should be something that the builders should start encouraging from now on in a, in a, in a very responsible fashion. I urge all of you home buyers as well to promote those builders who are engaged in sustainable practices. If you actually give them that encouragement by way of giving them a preferential treatment, then I think even the builders would be encouraged to building homes which are sustainable. If all of us can commit and follow simple green concepts in our day-to-day -day life, such as conserving water, such as using energy efficient lighting, our state will have enormous environmental and economic benefits and thus the state of Telangana, like I said, can become a role model to the rest of the country. I encourage all of you to keep up the good work. The government of Telangana will continue to stand hand in hand, shoulder to shoulder as you move forward, as you surge ahead. Thank you. Jai Telangana. Jai Hind.